it wasn't for these geographies that I've been pining about and the ripples of species they lent homes to, we would never have existed. How many dinosaurs had to die for us to emerge from a shrew? All of the plants that had to give life to how many animals who spread the seeds of trees which gave us fruits to learn how to tend, or wheat we learned to harvest. We came out of nature, out of the physical land as much as the ants upon it. We needed all of it, all of that came before, to be able to come out of it and build our immense networks from silicone that are streaming this into your ears at this very moment. We are the earth as much as we are upon it. So, as we have now become the dominant force on which we have emerged, whatever will we do with it? What are we doing to it? I think we can take knowledge from our collective past and find a way forward where we can intentionally cultivate land to flourish. Or maybe, unlike before, we can listen more to those in our time as well. How much of the collective surface is portioned for this or that is going to be uncertain. What is cultivated, how it is done, should be unique to that area, just as the geography, climate, species, and sapient culture therein is. Whatever it is that's going to be done should have much consideration to how the changing chemistry of the atmosphere is altering all of what I just said, because things are likely to keep getting wonky from here. Welcome to the Anthropocene. If you'd like to find us on your social media platform of choice, sign up for our mailing list to be the first to know about episode drops, know about upcoming guests or opportunities to ask questions and provide suggestions, please visit us at bandwidthpodcast.com. And of course, if you like what you hear, please follow, comment, or subscribe to the pod, however it is that this is getting to your ears.